Many Christmases ago, I went to buy a doll for my son. I reached for the last one they had, but so did another man. As I rained blows upon him, I realized there had to be another way. What happened to the doll? It was destroyed. But out of that, a new holiday was born. A Festivus for the rest of us. When George was growing up, no. his father no. did all the commercial and religious aspects of Christmas, yeah. so he made up his own holiday. Oh, and another piece of the puzzle falls into place. All right. And instead of a tree, didn't your father put up an aluminum pole? No. Just stop it. That weren't there feats of strength that always ended up with you crying? I can't uh, I'm going to watch. You have me now? Another Festivus miracle. Uh, listen, Harry, I need the 23rd off. Hey, I hired you to work during the holidays. This is the holidays. But it's Festivus. What? You know you're infringing on my right to celebrate new holidays. That's not a right. Well, happy Festivus. What is that? Is that the poll? George, Festivus is your heritage. It's part of who you are. That's why I hate it. It's a big dinner Tuesday night at Frank's house. Everyone's invited. The tradition of Festivus begins with the airing of grievances. I got a lot of problems with you people. Now, you're going to hear about it. And now, as Festivus rolls on, we come to the feats of strength. This year, the honor goes to Mr. Kramer. Oh, oh gee, Frank, I'm sorry. I got to go. I have to work a double shift at H&H. &H. Hey! Happy Festivus, everyone! Happy Festivus! <laughs> Happy Festivus! Happy Festivus! It's a Festivus miracle! No offense, but this holiday's a little... <laughs> out there.